So right here we have one of the automated blood collection machines or apheresis machines. This one is called an Alex. This is one of the newest ones we've, uh, we've got. We've had it for about four years now and it's a lot smaller than the older technologies. Now we can take this one to mobile drives. Basically it folds down, we can put its lid on and just remove it. So very portable, very easy to move. With these machines we can collect red blood cells and plasma. So the kit I'm going to set up right now is for a double red cell donation. That's two transfusable units of red blood cells only. And as you can see, each kit is a single-use sterile kit. It includes solutions, preservation solution, anticoagulant, and normal saline to be given to the donor. So I've just entered the kit information to the machine so it knows what kind of units we're going to collect. So the actual setup, we have anticoagulant to keep the blood cells from clotting. We have a preservation solution called Adsol. This is also the same type of solution that the whole blood bags use. Keeps the red cells alive for 42 days. This is a leukoreduction filter to remove white blood cells. Normal saline is going to be given to the donor to replenish uh, all the red blood cells we're taking. So when a donor leaves here, they have the same amount of fluid in their body as they came in with. It's traded normal saline for the red blood cells that we took. So hang him, place our filter. These bag here is actual product bags, so once the blood is collected and it's put through the filter, it's going to fill these two bags, one unit each. So actually, when a patient gets a transfusion in the hospital, this is the bag that's going to be hanging next to them. The separation is done by centrifuge, so even the centrifuge itself is part of the kit. So we put this in here. This spins at about 2,500 RPMs. Next we have the collection bags. Plasma is going to be put into this bag. Now in this procedure, we're not keeping any plasma, so during the procedure you'll see this fill and drain as he's getting his fluids returned to him, or she. All the red blood cells, concentrated red blood cells, will be kept in this bag. And this bag here is an in-process bag. This is where the whole blood is going to wait before it's separated by the centrifuge. In this compartment, there's pumps. And then we put this cassette in here. So the machine actually draws the blood and pushes it out. Here's the needle set. It's a one needle only. It will draw, process, and return in cycles. Five cycles total, five draws and five returns. And uh, it takes about 25 minutes to, ha to half an hour to complete a double red cell procedure. So now I just hit the kit check button. That makes sure that there's no leaks, no holes, no problems with the kit, it's not contaminated. Uh, if any problem were to happen, it would alarm and let us know that this kit is not safe. Otherwise, when it's all done with these checks, uh, we'll be able to start a procedure.